Good morning, Wind Chasers. Welcome to another episode of Chasing the Wind. I'm Pastor Mark. Let's see what the wind is up to. The wind, the spirit. Remember that wind is the spirit is what we're talking about here. Which brings up the, the, the question, as someone said to me very recently, as long as we're chasing the right wind. So this right wind, we live in a pluralistic society. I am no apologist. I am an evangelist. But I do like listening to apologists. And so my, my job this morning is, you know, the right wind, the right wind. Uh, here's the thing. When I'm sitting on my front porch, and you might remember that's how this whole thing kind of started, is sitting there listening to wind blow. And we talked about different aspects of the wind, how it knocks over trees and everything. They're going to they're gonna take down 100-year-old trees in the, in the little town that I live in because they might fall on someone's house. All right, whatever. What, here's what I know. Is it the right wind? What is the right wind? There's only one wind as I sit there thinking about this. It is how that wind uh affects itself, how it, how it makes itself known, how it, it affects us, I should say. So what is this right wind? We have a lot of people chasing the right wind. It's like I hear people say, well, we just got to love. We just got to love. I see these signs in people's yards. Love is love. And number one, you, it's, it's, it's poor English or whatever, poor grammar. You can't define the word with the word. So don't define the word with the word. You can't do that. We just got, and I, I hear people say, we just got to love people. And I know what they mean. They mean, don't challenge them. Don't talk to them about that maybe they're making a bad decision. Okay? Well, let me ask you something. Uh, do you love your child enough to let them play in the middle of a busy street at rush hour or at 5 o'clock in the afternoon when people are going home? Well, I just love them and I don't want to hurt their feelings. Well, you're not going to have to worry about that again because they're going to be dead. Okay? This is this business that we just have to love people. Yes, we do. There's no doubt about that. We have to love people. But when God loves us, um, his love is about doing what is best for a person. Um, there was probably things my mom and dad said no to when I was a kid because it probably was not best for me. There are times when God says no. That is his answer. I remember someone saying, but God never says no. Yes, he does. He says no. I think about the Apostle Paul when he was going to go to one place. I can't remember which one it was. I love the Acts of the Apostles. But he was going to go someplace and the Spirit would not let him. So he was going to go to another place. The Spirit would not let him. Finally, he went where the Spirit led him. And so when we're chasing the wind, we have to be careful, people, that we are discerning the right, the, the right wind. And that wind is Holy Spirit. It is Holy Spirit. God will never tell us anything that goes against his word. I've heard that, uh, you know, all the time I've been, a, I've been a follower of Christ. God will never tell you to do something against, against his word. Um, and so... Um, when, when we're talking about this chasing the wind thing, I'm not just talking about uh, chasing after anything. It is about being in tune with the Holy Spirit. Uh, I spent some time yesterday um, just quieting my soul and doing an, a discipline of silence, just sitting with God and, and listening. We forget that prayer is not just, okay, God, here's my little Christmas list. Just give me everything I want on it. Like God is Santa baby, you know. Um, put a sable under the tree or something like that. Certainly we can take our, our request to God, make our requests known to him. Cast our burdens upon the Lord, for He cares for us. What is really important? I, I, you know, I've been seeing a meme on 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 Facebook that uh, this is the this is the season to not think about what we want, but about be grateful for what we have. So, when was the last time we praised? We just spent time praising. I, I've I've recently said, God, help me to praise You. I don't always know how to praise Him. Lord, I praise You. Oh, that's really good. You know. Um, not that there's anything wrong with that, but Lord, help me to really know how to praise you. And so is, is this, this idea of chasing the wind, 
it doesn't mean that we just, you know, it's this random thing. Although there is a p, there is something to say for a whimsical thing. Um, I I tend to be a little bit on the impulsive side, and I've had to learn to rein that in and say, okay, I need to consider things. I was reading my devotions this morning about um, uh, Joseph. Uh, was it said he considered divorcing Mary quietly? Interesting. He considered it. He was taking time to discern the the winds, the, the wind, so to speak. And is this something God really wants me to do? Here's what was very interesting. The law said he should take her out and divorce her and make a big spectacle about it. And he felt as he prayed that the Holy Spirit was telling him, uh, I, it's okay. I want you to just go ahead with this. I'm I'm in this, and so there we we get, you know, we don't hear of him talking to anybody about this. It could have really been detrimental for him and for her. But we, you know, don't you wish God would just send you an angel sometimes to say this is what I want you to do? Uh, I'm kind of going through that right now. I'm like, God, please just send me an angel. You know, of course, then you get scared out of the, your wits because they they just come up. Hey, they just pop up out of nowhere. So, you know, to, to chase the wind. Because, you know, here's the thing. God is, is indeed chasing. I always say that at the end. You know, keep chasing the wind. Wind chases because the wind is chasing you. Uh, the funny thing is, if you would just stop, then the wind would catch you and you would catch the wind and it would be a beautiful thing. But we just keep doing that and <laughs> run around circles sometimes like I kind of am doing right now. So here's the deal, wind chasers. Um, be, use discernment. Ask, the, ask God to give you discernment about what, well, I think this is what the Lord's want me to do. Well, yeah, but it goes totally against what he's, his word. So that's probably the first indication that it's not Holy Spirit that's uh, blowing in your direction. Um, it could be just hot air, which we are hearing. So we are getting so much hot air right now in our political climate and everything. So all the more, folks, that we need to really just we need to slow down. We need to consider, is, is this something the Holy Spirit's really telling me? Uh, we might need to get some godly counsel to help us and to pray with us about some things. So here's what I do know, folks, is that the Holy Spirit is moving and is moving in the church. And uh, I'm going to be talking about that here in, in probably my next uh, vlog post here, channel, whatever you want to call this thing. I do. I don't know what it is, but it's called Chasing the Wind. So... Anyway, I will keep chasing the wind, wind chasers, because the wind is indeed chasing you. Share this on your Facebook if you know someone that might uh, benefit from this, and um, you know, let's just keep uh, let's just keep uh, chasing the wind, because indeed the wind is chasing you. So, till next time, I'm Pastor Mark. Grace and peace.